AG Marshmallow Productions here today, and I got a request from Dubai Doll Girl um, to do more easy craft DIYs for your dolls. So I'm going to show you how to make these really cute doll um, notebooks, and they have real pages in them, and their covers are super cute. So let's get started. You will need a piece of scrapbook paper. I'm just using these, this really cute one that I got from a giant packet of scrapbook. Um, lined paper. I recommend college ruled because it'll look a little bit better, but any size is fine. A pair of scissors. A glue stick. A sharpie and some type of pen or pencil. I'm just using an orange pen. A, um, some tape and some cardboard. It should be the thin cardboard. I'm just using this for what I use for my doll cereal box. You can really reuse it. So start by cutting down your cereal box so you can make it so that it's open. So now I'm going to make a template using this area. So I'm just going to take another scrap piece of cardboard and use it as a ruler. So I'm just going to um, sketch out a template on how tall the notebook, I think, should be. So I think the notebook should be about this big, and I'm going to make a template. So I have a template right here, and now what I'm going to do is just double that template. So now what you want to do is just cut your template out. So now I have my template right here, and I'm just going to fold where I put the line in the middle or where it goes in half. Okay. So it's right there for me. So now we have a little, now you can sort of see the notebook or folder shape. So now what you want to do is take your lined paper. Okay, so I have like a couple sheets here. You can do as many as you want. I'm just gonna do a lot of levels of um, little ones. So what you wanna do is put your folded template down and trace your paper. Now what you want to do when you cut this out, you want to cut it a little bit smaller than how you traced it, just because you want the paper to be a little bit smaller than the notebook. So now, as you can see, my paper fits perfectly in here. And I cut it a lot smaller, well not a lot, but as you can see, I have that there. So I cut it a bit smaller and it fits perfectly. So now what you wanna do is just um, use the paper as a template and cut out as much as you want. So I have enough paper, because I don't want that much, but now what you wanna do is take your tape and tape one long end of the paper together. So now, your papers are all stuck together. You can also do this um, by stapling, but I think that taping is better. So now what you want to do is take your scrapbook paper, lay it so this side, the white side is up, or the unpatterned side, and lay your template down and trace it out. Sorry you can't see it very well, but when you cut it out, you wanna cut it out bigger on every single side. So you see I left side here, and I'm gonna leave some here and onto the top. So as you can see, I have left everything on here. So now all I'm gonna do is cover this template. So I've got the template glued on, and as you can see, it has a lot of extra on the sides. So what you're going to do is at this corner, cut up right at the corner. So now what you can do, you can fold your side in and you can glue it like that. But before you do that, you want to cut on this side also and cut on all the corners. So now when you fold it in, they'll fit perfectly. Also cut right in the middle of your slit. So now you should have all the sides glued down, and I taped this side just because it wasn't a big enough edge to glue. So now you have a really cute notebook. But now it's time to put in the pages. So what you want to do, slide in the pages, and if they're too big to fit in, mine are a little now, just trim them down. Sorry if you can hear people. But now what you want to do is glue this front page here, 
and the back page there. So now you have a notebook with nice little pages. And now we're just going to add one little. So now what you want to do is to open your Sharpie, press this down, take a scrap piece of cardboard or whatever you want to use and cover a little bit of this so you just have about like that much peeking out and just color it. Now, do that to the back side. So it looks really professional now. And I also discolored the spine just for a better look. But now you have a super cute doll notebook. You can use anything for the cover, just to, and you could make it like a composition notebook by putting like that little um thing right there. But these are just super cute, easy notebooks. So you don't have to buy the ones from American Girl that are like $25. So they're super, super cute. So please recreate them and tell me in the comments below if you recreate them. Bye.